Okay, I don't mean to just weird everyone out straight from the start, but I, you know, I like to think that sometimes maybe I, I can be sort of an authority figure, someone that can tell you, look, this game is interesting, and here's why, and I know what's going on, and I can explain things to you, but I cannot do any of those things with this game, Strawberry Cubes. I've seen it floating around for a couple of weeks now, and because things are kind of slow in video games, I thought... I need to check this out, see sort of what's going on, why people have been saying that it's just kind of melted their brain, and I'm just going to take you on a journey that I don't cannot explain fully. This is Strawberry Cubes. So the, the instructions sort of give you some very basic controls, but it also says in the manual, by which I mean a readme text, that, ah, just press the buttons, you'll, f you'll f find some stuff out. So you kind of walk around this weird, bizarre place. I guess I'll just keep going left. Sure, I'll just keep going left. It seems just as reasonable as anything else right now. Go, I'll fall down. I'll keep falling down. Those kind of look like arrows pointing down. Where am I going? What's happening? What are these things? Seeds? Why do I... What are seeds? And now I'm down here. And now there are numbers. So now here's what I've discovered. If I press 9, 7, and then asterisk... That happens. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I've also discovered... You can just climb the walls. And I can knock these over. Why do I want to? I don't know. If you notice in the corner... I see this all the time. There are just uh, letters everywhere. So if I hit G, I just start back in this area. G, 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 G. There's a number. If I hit 3, it doesn't do anything. Uh, shift 3? And now it does this again. But I can also prompt it by doing 4, 2, asterisk. That. So let's go in the door. Now there's this. I have these seeds, so I can hit uh, space. Ding. Uh, uh, I can hit Y to the seed room. Oh, well, I don't know what happened there. There was a room, and then I lost it. Sorry. Let's go to the seed room. Uh, have you noticed? Uh, so numbers are embedded all over Strawberry Cube. So if we look very closely, we can see seven, and that takes me here. If I die, that it's like a, a kind of a checkpoint system, I guess. I don't. And again, I can kind of just keep walking along. If I plant a seed, which I have a finite amount, I can crawl up here, and then I can kind of head through this area. There's another one of those going off. I can knock those over if I uh, used a seed. I don't know why I would want to. Or I can just keep climbing up. Uh, it does say to like draw a map, but it, it seems that does not seem like useful advice to me so far. Knock that down. Those are getting knocked down, so if you fall down, does that mean you go up? Woo! Alright. Alright, so I guess if I go up here, I can grab two more seeds. Three, one. It does that again. The, the world kind of falls apart. I, my, I guess all I can really surmise so far is that this is a sort of a trying to incorporate artifacting and glitching uh, in, into the game as mechanics. I have We have seen other games kind of like screw with this sort of idea before. Strawberry Cube takes it to an extreme that I have not experienced in the past, largely because it's, it's so purposely obtuse. It is, it is I think can be understood. Is that a check mark? I don't even know how you... A V? If I hit V, I'm able to change the visuals. V for visuals? Is that applicable everywhere? V, V, V. So V modifies the visual... The aesthetic in certain ways. I don't know... But it doesn't actually change... Like, I can't, like, walk through... Like, Did I just jump through that? Um, 
I don't know how to. How do I, okay, so if I hit G. Oh, I also noticed if I hit B. I go back to the beginning. Let's just uh, hit the keyboard. Q. Nothing. W. Nothing. E. There is no scientific or other evidence that any casket with a sealing device will reserve human preserve human remains. Okay. R. What about V? Does V work in here? It does. Okay. Room G R asterisk. But G. Okay. Y U I I O P. Pause the game. A. Oh, okay. That's just was. F. Oh. What? I spawned a frog. Why? Where are they coming from? Why are all these frogs in the room now? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm slowly losing my mind and just infinitely spawning all of these frogs. The game appears to not be stopping me. It will let me spawn as many frogs as I want. <laughs> oh no, it's causing the game to break down. The frame rate is just losing it. Strawberry Cube, what are you? So, okay, let's go back to the beginning. Are they still there? No, they're gone. Okay. G. Right, we knew that. H. Huh. No, take me back. Okay, H, go in the door. Oh, weird. J. K. Oh, K is, kills yourself. Naturally. L. Z. X. Is that like a... Oh, it like clones me. It, like it warps me. You know what V does? Right, back to the beginning. Oh. N, M, roll mutated. Rule stored. Okay, now I'm going into the other buttons. Rule recalled. Rule randomized. Who's that even? And if I combine that with V for visuals, it seems like they kind of do the same thing. Uh, now I'm just pressing random buttons. I, but that's a chicken. It can fly. And now it's like pooping lasers. Wait, bring back the chicken. Okay, chicken is back. The chicken can fly. The chicken can get around to places you can't, but it it also tracks your movement, so you're sort of limited in terms of what you can accomplish. I wonder if, if it could it So it can go alright. So it can make it to areas that you can't. I wonder if we're gonna interact with objects. What kind of Spawn frogs? What if I just spawn frogs? I think... This is Strawberry Cube. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the video description. I don't know what's happening. I think it's fascinating. I like that it incorporates glitches. I don't... I'm probably gonna play more. If you have any idea what I'm supposed to do in this game... There's also a separate window that I can't show you. Actually, I guess I can probably, I can probably bring it over. Uh, let's see. No, it won't, it won't let me capture it. Uh, but anyway, there's another window in which, like, if I hit different buttons, it's like a, it looks like a DOS prompt, and it tells you different things that are probably related to what's going on here. But that's Strawberry Cube. It's a four dollars, or it's free. Suggested four dollars. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm... I'm gonna go lay down.